We're going to spend a few minutes looking at how you can use archiving and deleting in Gmail as a way to organize and retrieve your emails. One of the wonderful aspects of Gmail is that you have 25 gigabytes of email storage. There's really no reason that you'll ever need to delete your email messages in order to stay under the storage quota. And by archiving email, you have the ability to retrieve it at a later date. So we're going to take a look at archiving and we're going to take a look at deleting. Archiving allows you to keep a message but no longer see it in your inbox. A message that has been archived is now stored in your all mail section of your Gmail service. And when you search for an email that's been archived, it will show up in search and as well as maintain all of the labels. If you choose to delete an email, it will no longer be in your inbox as well, but after 30 days it will be deleted forever. It will not retain any of the labels that you have set up, and because the message uh, uh, is deleted, it will not show up in search after 30 days because it no longer exists. So I'm going to encourage you to spend some time using the archive feature today. So let's go ahead and uh, log into our Gmail service and we can see that we can start selecting emails for archiving. So the first email that I'm going to select today is an email from uh, Wendy. Wendy had invited me to uh, lunch and now that I know the date and I've accepted the calendar appointment I don't need for this to appear in my inbox anymore. So I can go ahead and select Wendy's email and once I do so, I can see that my buttons change and I have the ability to archive that email conversation. Once I do, I can see that my conversation has been archived and in order to find it again, I can look for it one of two ways. The first way is to select the more on the left hand side and finally select all mail. All mail will show me all the email that I have uh, ever received, including archived email like I've received from Wendy. So that's archiving. Um, the other way to find an email through archive uh, is to go ahead and select, uh, use a search button and uh, select uh, what I'm looking for. And so in this case, I'm looking for Wendy Erickson and I'm going to go ahead and search. And you can see that uh, this email still exists, even though when I select the inbox, it's no longer there. So archiving is a great way to retrieve email, but to clean up your inbox. However, there may be an occasion on which I no longer want information, neither in my archive nor in my inbox. And one of those occasions might be Google Calendar invites. So if I go ahead and select the items that I would like to delete, I can go ahead and select the delete button. I can see that four conversations have been moved to my trash and now in order to retrieve them I can't search for them nor will they show up in all mail. I'll actually need to go to the label called trash and in there I will see all the items that I've put into my trash. After 30 days these items will automatically be deleted and no longer be able to be retrieved nor will I ever be able to look for them uh, using the search bar. So take advantage of the, uh, the power and use of uh, archiving. Uh, it's a great way to store email and yet keep your inbox uh, much cleaner.